The weather report says a tempest is fast approaching. Good evening, my friends. This is VJ Franz K. And we are here to talk about the amazing Tempest, which I think has a potential to become the greatest drum machine of all time. It is designed by Dave Smith and Roger Lynn, two of the most amazing people in the history of synthesized sound and drum machines. Anyway, as you can tell, this is not actually a real Tempest, it's a picture of a Tempest. What's making these sounds? Well, I have brought out my old favorite, Electribe EMX, to do the duty of imagining what a Tempest might sound once I get my hands on one to try it. And I greatly look forward to that time. So what is the Tempest actually? Well, it is a true analog drum machine, which is extremely rare. You see, most drum machines today, they're digital. Well, most of them are samplers, or if they are drum synthesizers, a lot of them are digitally simulated analog synthesis, as is the case with this Electribe EMX. What is special about a drum synthesizer? Well, unlike sample-based uh, drum machines, you have the ability to morph and change the actual synthesis of the drum in ways that you could not possibly do with samples. Hear that rich distortion. Of course, this is the EMX, and I am using the tubes to simulate some of the analog warmth of uh, what we might have with a real Tempest bun. And of course, analog filters, nothing will be digital along the way unless you are using the digital features of it. See how I can keep transforming the sound with a drum synth into many different permutations smoothly. And of course, this is only a simulated analog drum synth. You also notice we have the sound of a compressor here. And uh, the Tempest includes an analog compressor as well on the end of the uh, chain, so all the better for your sound processing. Of course, what else can a drum synthesizer offer you? Well, just like the resurgence of the use of the 909 and the 808 in hip-hop and dance music, a drum synthesizer can produce amazingly low kick drum sounds. Also, amazingly crisp hi-hat sounds. So, uh, in the world of electro, it is the gold standard. There are six voices, and each one of these six voices contains two analog oscillators and two digital oscillators, which means that you get the best of both drum machine worlds. You get the amazing, rich, adjustable, transformable tones of a true drum synthesizer, as well as you get the sampled uh, realism for simulating uh, acoustic drums and other effects uh, by using the digital oscillators. So it's uh, quite amazing to have even one voice of that, but here we have six. That is amazing. Each voice has a real analog Curtis low pass filter and a discrete two pole high pass filter. So, why have I chosen to use this Electribe to imitate for you the future sound of a Tempest? Well, like the good old Korg Electribe R, which is 
Yes, a digital simulation of an analog drum machine. Based on the specs of the Electribe EMX, you are basically able to completely emulate the sound of an ER1. So if you have a choice between one of the two, get the EMX, it has a lot more complicated features. The only thing I can really think of that it can't do is the exact character of the uh, echo changing. Uh, maybe I'll describe that in a notation. The Tempest, of course, has six different analog voices with uh, additional digital samples, but the signal path is totally analog. It never leaves that domain, and that is very special. Now, of course, uh, the venerable Electribe EMX here has uh, five simulated analog voices, which most people will use for the sound of synthesizer notes, but by being clever, we can use them to imitate the sound of analog drums. It's, uh, you know, it's simple. By using the LFO section and then setting it into the percussive mode here. I can also layer it with the PCM drum samples. Now, of course, the actual Tempest has two analog oscillators per voice, which is unprecedented, amazing amount of synthesis in a package this size. Um, in most cases, there is only a single oscillator within these synth parts, even though some of them are two oscillator, but the point is that I am giving you a, uh, a sonic imitation, a picture, so we can discuss it. It's for the purposes of discussion, education, debate, contemplation. Of course, because The Tempest is partially designed by Roger Lynn, you know that you'll probably get the Lindrum samples, which even now are making hits in 2011 for hip-hop and dance music acts. I've always liked the sounds of them. It's one of the first sampling, or uh, one of the first sampled drum machines used a lot by artists in the 80s and, uh, as I said, having a huge resurgence right now. Of course, the other benefit of it being a drum synthesizer is the fact that you are able to synthesize more than drums with these voices. You can make a complete track, or you will be able to make a complete track with the Tempest. With, uh, you know, fully evolvable synthesizer parameters. Which can be modulated in many different ways. There are two LFOs per voice, which is very, very nice. All sorts of interesting routing capabilities. As you can hear, I have a chord going here, and there are two analog oscillators per voice, so you will be able to make chords with a single voice. Tempest in a teapot. <laughs> Since we mentioned the Monotribe, how does the upcoming Ford Monotribe compare to the upcoming Tempest? Well, they are both similar machines in some ways because they are both actual analog machines. But uh, basically, we can say the Monotribe is uh, much more budget priced, uh, much simpler. You know, you have one analog oscillator instead of 12. So, you know, um, if you like analog, you may want them both. Uh, of course, a classic component of dub reggae is having a mega low analog dub bass. 
which may be played by a uh, bass player with a bass instrument through, uh, in some cases, specially designed bass synthesizer pedals, or it may come from a computer. But the whole point of it is to be so low that in some cases it's even sub-bass, just at the edge or even below the range of human hearing. So, uh, of course, analog excels at producing these rich, rich basses. Just think about all the creativity that will be unleashed when you have a chance to combine an analog drum machine with uh, a digital drum machine in one unit. An analog drum machine that never sacrifices its true analog signal path. Instead, the digital takes a uh, second fiddle, <laughs> so to speak. But it is there and it's ready for your use. And because it's going through analog filters, it's all the more rich and amazing. No matter what happens, never give up.